Imagine trying to be an artist in a black and white world. Try capturing the full tonal beauty of this bouquet with black and white paints. Luckily, painters can use color to help them picture some of the most beautiful creations. Like painters working with paints, an orchestra conductor paints beautiful musical pictures. He uses tonal color and many tints and shades to make his musical pictures. The many instruments display a variety of tonal colors and pitches. The bigger the instrument, the deeper the sound. High shrill notes come from the little piccolo, highest pitched of the flute family. The violin is a very important member in the orchestra's string family. And of course, we can't forget the brass and woodwinds. Each instrument, adding its own voice, gives the orchestra its marvelous breadth and quality of sound. The organ, in addition to being the largest and most powerful musical instrument, has not one, but many different tone qualities. Through the ages, the organ has helped man pay his highest devotions to his God. As an organist, you will be master of your own self-contained orchestra. Through your music, you will also encourage others to come closer to their Father in Heaven. You will master the ability to adapt the sounds of this instrument to the style, period, and spiritual framework of many different kinds of music. Like a conductor, you have many different sounds at your disposal, from the high notes of the flute family, to the heavy, sonorous chords of the bass. <laughs> Organ stops provide the tints and shades of musical color you will need to be conductor of your own orchestra. Just as the size and shape of various instruments determine their tonal color, so the size and shape of the individual pipes of an organ have different pitches and qualities of sound. <laughs> Organ stops fall into two main categories, speaking and non-speaking. Non-speaking stops do not produce sound. The speaking stops, those that do activate the sound, are divided into four basic families. The principal family, also known as the diapason, is the most important of the four basic families. The flutes are the second speaking family. The strings are the third family. and the reeds make up the fourth family. Because of their importance, the diapason, flute, and string stops are often referred to collectively 
as the foundation stops of the organ. To be able to use them effectively, we need to remember three things about each speaking stop. One, its family. That is, does it sound like a reed or a diapason? Two, its pitch or its relative highness or lowness. Three, its volume, its loudness or softness. Each speaking stop represents a row or set of pipes, all producing the same tone quality. With one pipe for each key on the pedal board and the keyboards. The tone quality of the diapason or principal family is the basic sound of the organ. The higher ranges have brightness and the lower range has a somber quality. The many members of the flute family express serenity and quietness and are often blended with other stops. Their upper range brightness turns to a somber quality in the lower range. The thin, soft tones of the string stops sound somewhat like stringed instruments. They are delicate in the higher range and more somber in the lower range. The Vox Celeste undulating stop is a row of pipes tuned slightly sharp to another row of the same tone quality. The reed stop sounds similar to the brass and woodwind sections in an orchestra. Reeds add emphasis throughout the whole register. The louder reeds are powerful and assertive. And the Vox Humana adds the tone qualities that make this stop somewhat resemble the human voice. In addition to its tone quality, each organ stop has a characteristic pitch. The basic pitch comes from a pipe about eight feet in length. And a stop sounding this note is known as an eight foot stop. This pitch will always be the equivalent of the same note on the piano. The same note played with a 16 foot stop sounds one octave lower. And if that same written note is played on a four-foot stop, it sounds one octave higher than if it were played on a piano. A two-foot stop sounds two octaves higher than if it were played on a piano. Other speaking stops, called mutation stops, sound at intervals of pitch rather than in whole octaves and they are only used in combination with other stops. For instance, the two and two-thirds stop sounds an octave plus four white keys higher than written. And the one and three-fifths foot stop sounds two octaves plus two white keys higher than written. So, Middle C would sound an octave lower on a 16-foot stop. The equivalent of the piano pitch on the 8-foot stop. An octave higher than written on a 4-foot stop. 
two octaves higher on a two-foot stop, 12 notes higher on a two and two-third stop, and two octaves plus two notes on the one and three-fifths foot stop. Mixtures are another kind of pitch stop and are designated by Roman numerals rather than length measurements. Each mixture sounds two or more different notes when a single key is depressed. Like the mutation stops, mixtures are used only in combination with other stops. So if we play middle C with a mixture stop marked Roman numeral three, we hear three notes. And now that we've covered speaking stops, let's learn about non-speaking stops. Non-speaking stops do not produce tones. Their function is to modify the speaking stops. The intramanual coupler stops join or couple one keyboard to another or to the pedal so that one key depressed on the keyboard will also sound the corresponding note on the pedal or the other keyboard to which it's coupled. For instance, coupling the swell keyboard to the great keyboard modifies the tone. Here, middle C, played on the great keyboard, retains the same pitch, but changes quality when the swell keyboard is coupled to the great. In this case, we hear a reed tone. In addition, the four foot and 16 foot Intramanual couplers can also vary the pitch. The intramanual couplers couple one manual to itself at a higher or lower pitch. So when we play middle C through an intramanual coupler, we hear middle C and the four foot or 16 foot pipes in addition to the basic pitch. The tremolo is another example of a non-speaking stop. The tremolo changes this sound to this. Each stop or combination of stops adds a new dimension to the quality of music flowing from the organ. As you can see, learning the organ requires that you become very familiar with your instrument. You must be sensitive to the message the composer meant to convey. Then, like an orchestra conductor, you can give others the most beautiful, inspirational, and stirring messages possible. And best of all, you'll inspire others to more completely worship our Father in Heaven. Each instrument, adding its own voice, gives the orchestra its marvelous breadth and quality of sound. The organ, in addition to being the largest and most powerful musical instrument, has not one, but many different tone qualities. The many instruments display a variety of tonal colors and pitches. The bigger the instrument, the deeper the sound.
high shrill notes come from the little piccolo. Highest pitch. Imagine trying to be an artist in a black and white world. Try capturing the full tonal beauty of this bouquet with black and white paints. Luckily, painters can use color to help them picture some of the most beautiful creations. Like painters working with paints, an orchestra conductor paints beautiful musical pictures. He uses tonal color and many tints and shades to make his musical pictures of the flute family. The violin is a very important member in the orchestra's string family. And of course, we can't forget the brass and woodwinds. Through the ages, the organ has helped man pay his highest devotions to his God. As an organist, you will be master of your own self-contained orchestra. Through your music, you will also encourage others to come closer to their Father in Heaven. You will master the ability to adapt the sounds of this instrument.